Hello and welcome to this tutorial series, <clears throat> the Autodesk 3ds Max 2017 Complete Course for Beginners. In this video we are going to start the Chapter 1 Modeling. And I have prepared a um, uh, few bullet points that we are going to cover in this um, chapter. Introduction to Autodesk 3ds Max Design, Autodesk 3ds Max Design Configuration, Model with Primitives, Modifier and Transforms, Polygon and Mesh Modeling Tools, modeling from 2D objects and boolean operation. So let's get into it and start. For this tutorial, as I said, I am going to use Autodesk 3ds Max 2017, which you can see there. And um, first I want to have a short introduction of this interface. This is the main menu of 3ds Max and uh, underneath we have the main toolbar. All these tools which you can see in this toolbar can be find can be found in this um, main menu. But uh, for sake of easiness, they have put them here that you can easily take them and use them. And here we have the command panel. Almost anything in 3D Max is created from this panel, so we are going to use this a lot. And uh, in this side, we can see we have uh, four viewports that uh, we can see our object from four different perspectives or four different uh, angles. Uh, you see, this uh, views each one has a different view. This one is front, this one is top, this one is left, and this one is the perspective view. By default, 3ds Max views are set like this, but we can change them anytime we want simply by going to this um, top left of each viewport we can come to and click on this bracket which is written front we can change it to any view we want perspective, orthographic, top, bottom, front, back, left, right and also we can use the shortcuts for uh, fast working and for uh, being faster, you can use these shortcuts. And in each viewport, we have activated the default. By default, in 3D Max, it's activated this uh, this cube, this view cube, which uh, help us to understand that which view we are, and we can uh, use this simply to change our view as we want. We can change for this one. I want to create a box here. Yeah, see, we are in right view. And if I click this, yeah, this one is the right view. And we can uh, you can play with this cube, and you can well understand more about it. One thing I want I want to tell you about the orthographic view. Let me. Uh, change this view to perspective by simply clicking this home button at the top right of the viewport. It will take us to this uh, view, this specific perspective view and here also we are in the same view. We are both in the same, just I want to change this view from wireframe to smooth and highlights. You can see they are both in the same view, but this one I want to change it to orthographic. Now you, get <coughs> you guys can see, in orthographic, um, both sides of this cube are in the same size. When we, but in uh, perspective, this side is uh, smaller than this side because this one is uh, farther than this. But in this one, uh, both of these edges are. Uh, in the same size, so this is orthographic view and this is perspective view. Okay, you understood about the views and how to change a viewport view. And now, in here, we can uh, see these options. We have different uh, options for our object to be represented in our viewport. We can have hidden lines, we can have wireframe, we can have smooth and highlights which look like this and you guys can play with this one also we have uh, different uh, options here 
and in this one by pressing in this uh, little pass button you can change uh, you can maximize one view like this again restore report and we can also active and disable the viewports here also view, view cube we can um, enable and disable it just from here and other thing we have is string wheels toggle string wheels this is string wheels will also help us to turn our object zoom it out and zoom it in undo anything we want rotate it it's very good if you have a habit of using this but I I don't use it to be honest I never use it okay and that was pretty much introduction of this interface mm, from next video we are going to start the actual modeling but before that I want to tell you something else before starting with 3 ds Max when you installed your software just go to customize and preferences here we have seen and do level I want you to turn this to 500 it's very good for you because uh, if you are doing some kind of project and uh, suddenly you understand that you have done something wrong if you have 500 undo's you can get back to what you were doing before easily so that's a recommendation and I do that every time so subscribe my channel and follow my videos and courses see you guys